All right, back with a new unboxing. So what I have is the newly released 2020 one ounce silver uh, Star Wars Guards of the Empire Stormtrooper. And here it is. Really, really nice. So this was just released a few days ago. All right, here's my certificate of authenticity. All right, this is one of 2,000 worldwide. So um, I'm not a Star Wars person. I'm not a fan or... Um, I don't watch the movies or anything like that, <clears throat> so I don't really know much about it, but all I know is this popularity among uh, the media and people that are huge fans of it. I know it's a really popular uh, series, so for that reason, um, that's one reason why I purchased it, and also what stood out to me was the, uh, you know, limited edition um, 2000 Worldwide. Uh, for me, usually anything that's extremely limited vintage, I like to hop on those kind of deals immediately. So I wasn't looking for this when I was on the website. Uh, but once I scrolled across it and I saw that it was available, this is uh, uh, last week. On May 4th, when I saw it was available, I immediately made a purchase for it. Um uh, so, because, you know, with 2000 that's not a lot. You know, they can easily sell out in one day or one hour or less than that. So, uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, get that deal. So, uh, now this is the highest premium I ever paid for a one ounce of silver. But, in some ways, it's, it's worth it. So, it cost me $88.54. $88.54. So, uh, you know, the price of silver is still right now $15 and some change. So, I paid a extremely high premium for it, but um, I think, you know, I wasn't even spending it to look like this. But even just for that nice display and everything, uh, it's definitely worth the price because it'd uh, be extremely valuable. This is the case that it came in here. With the back, all right, all right. So, my next unboxing, all right. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but. Uh, back when I, were buying, when I was buying all my Lunar Series Silver, I ordered a uh, 2020 Kookaburra. And I'll tell you guys that they didn't have it in the pack. Because at the time they were sold out. So uh, MS recently just uh, reached out to me through email. And said there was a discrepancy with their inventory. So... They didn't have the 2020 um, Australia Kookaburra to give me. So they gave me the option of either getting a refund back or just getting a uh, Kookaburra random year. So this is what I got from them. This is a 2018 one. So, like I said, it's not what I ordered, but it is a kookaburra, just not the 2021. So, hopefully they will have them back in stock pretty soon. So, this is one ounce. And also, I 
I just got my receipt. And this is from uh, April 16th. So almost a month ago, so. You know, it's all good. But it's a really nice coin. But if I get the, uh, if they have the 2021 back in stock, I would definitely will reorder that. I just like the whole um, design and the 30 year mark of it, the milestone of it. So, so yeah, that's that there. And like I said, you know, Star Wars. 2000 worldwide very nice all right you guys thanks for watching peace